Good afternoon, everybody. Olav here, and welcome to a new uh, a new game and a new series. It is actually a series. There are two games in this one. Uh, it's Laura Jones and the Gates of Good and Evil, I think it is. Um, surprisingly enough, it doesn't have the title on the screen here. Uh, but it's kind of it's kind of hidden object, but it's more puzzle based. It's more mini game puzzle adventure type thing. So let's jump into it and see what it has to offer us. Laura Jones is a recent graduate and an assistant to the world-renowned archaeologist, Dr. William Adams. Professor Adams called her with some very important news about a recent discovery, but insists on telling her only in person. All right, so what do you got for us, Professor? 9.17 p.m., the University Guest House. It's dark in here. Where's the light switch? Guessing by the light. Yep. Hi. You weren't there just a minute ago. Where did you come from? Oh, Professor Adams, you, you startled me. Sorry to disturb you in the middle of the night, Laura, but I need your help. And just how can I, your humble assistant, help one of the world's leading archaeologists? I see my best student still has a sharp tongue. Now please, don't interrupt and listen closely. Okay, I'm listening. He said, don't interrupt. That means shut up. Laura, I made a mistake and I need you to fix it. This is one of my recent discoveries and the reason why I wanted you to come to the university. You must keep it safe for me. What? I don't understand. What's going on here? You don't look so well. What happened? Laura, I, uh... I'm sick. Please, take care of this for me. Sure, you don't look... I think you're more than just sick, because you just disappeared, dude, and that's not normal. 11.35 a.m., the university guest house. Morning already? What a strange dream. Oof. Good morning, Toby. What's that under your paw? Let me have it. It can't be. It's the artifact from my dream. But it was only a dream. Come on, Toby, let me have it. Okay, I need to figure out how to get Professor Adams' discovery away from him. How can I distract Toby so I can get the artifact from him? Well, food is always a good thing. Okay, you fed Toby. Toby. He loves two things. Eating and curling up in a nice warm spot, so... An empty matchbox. There we go, now he's gonna be warm and cozy. Looks like, what, um... Well, I'll be, Laura. I would never have guessed you'd be among the chosen. P professor where are we? The artifact you picked up is one of the keys to a mystic gate. Mystical gate. Now its guardian spirit needs to decide if you're worthy enough to have it. Mystical gate? What are you talking about? What is happening? You're trapped deep in your subconscious and now you are waiting to be tested. Um... What kind of test are we talking about here? Tested? What do I need to do? You need to show that you are worthy of the key by passing some sort of ordeal. 
I don't like the term ordeal. I do not like the term ordeal. How? I don't know. Each guardian spirit has its own tests. Good luck, Laura. Th thank you, Professor. Feed the cat by catching the fish and handing them to him. Okay. I'm assuming he's telling us what type of fish to catch. So like that guy, yeah. So now he's wanting like a, what looks like kind of like a catfish. Yeah, okay, this is, this is not much of an ordeal. And this is just kind of more tedious than anything else. It's just time consuming waiting for the fish to show up. I mean, if you wait long enough, all the fish are going to come across, and fairly slowly. There we go. I was going to say, I'm like, dude, j j just... Give me the fish that I click on. There we go. So again, that wasn't much of an ordeal. That was just kind of time-consuming. The cat is fed and very happy. You have passed the ordeal. The mini game Feed the Cat is now available from the main menu. Fantastic. Hmm. Wow. It was like a dream. It wasn't really asleep. I need to see the professor to understand what's happening. Professor Adams stopped by Laura's room and asked for her assistance with an artifact that he recently discovered. She wasn't supposed to touch it, but when she accidentally handled it, she ended up by a mystical gate. The only way back was to pass the ordeal administered by a guardian spirit. So it's like summarizing what we just went through. Which is kind of dumb. 11.50 AM, Professor Adams' office. Kate, it's so good to see you. Laura, it's been, it's good to see you too. I still can't believe what happened. Kate, I just got here. What, what happened? You still don't know? My uncle's in the hospital. He's in a coma. He's in critical condition, and they won't let me see him. He was so excited yesterday. He was going on and on about a recent discovery he made. He really wanted to show it to you. It's all his damn work. T take it easy, Kate. I'm sure he'll get better soon. I know. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. I'll go make us some tea. By the way, would you like to take a look around to see if you can find out what he was working on? I know he wanted to show it to you, so it might be something important. Thanks. I'll just carefully look around. Open the safe. Question marks may appear during the game. Click on them to replenish your hint, supply hint. Okay, well, there's another one. All right, so there's the safe, but I don't know the combination. But there was a box, uh, drawers locked. Use a key to open it. Okay, well, there's a key. Uh, okay, coin. Yeah, 5428. All right. Five, four, two, eight. Excellent, you open the safe. The only thing in the safe is a ripped up photo. Put the pieces together to see what was what the photo's of. It's not a very well ripped up photograph. So he's got a second, a, a second 
artifact and old dude behind him looks like he's like, give me, give me, I want the precious. What an interesting photo. And Professor Adams is holding another artifact. Hmm. I only found a photograph. I didn't see any notes or anything. It almost looks like someone took something. Lower at the tea's ready. Hey, look, what are all these marks on the wall? Look like paw prints of some kind. Hey, look at this. There are more of these paw prints on the desk. Looks like someone was here while I was in the hospital. Let's keep looking, see if we can find any more of these paw prints. I wonder what our little friend was interested in. Find all the paw prints. Okay. So yeah, they're like all over the floor, the desk, the chair, the wall, the lamp. Wow. Yeah, they just, whatever this thing was, they, it was like just putting pop. There's one on the ceiling. There's a, there, why? How, I'm guessing that was while it was like around the, 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 the safe. But I, I just, yeah, I don't. I don't know why it would have been like, ha -ha, there we go, yeah. Excellent, you found all the paw prints. I wonder what left these paw prints. At first glance, it doesn't look like anything is missing. Perhaps some sort of animal just got in and walked around on the ceiling. Because that makes sense. This is strange. By the way, who's next to the professor in this photo? Oh, that's Alex Byrne. He's a student who's helping my uncle. It's a regular pain in the neck. Maybe he knows something about the professor's work. I think I'll go talk to him. Did you find anything else in my uncle's office? Nope, just this photo and handprints. Okay, well. Let me know, I'll let you know if I hear any news from about my uncle. Okay, thanks. Kate informed Laura that Professor Adams is in the hospital in a coma. Laura found a photo of the professor with his friend and assistant, Alex Byrne, in the safe. It turns out that... It turns out that had a second artifact. It looks like some animal was in the professor's office. However, nothing appears to be missing. Laura leaves to question Alex. Not the greatest in, of, of, grammatical, uh, of grammatics as far as English goes, is it? 12.15 p.m. Whitmore dormitor Dormitory. Alex Burns Room. Hello, are you Alex Byrne? Y yes, I I'm Alex. I'm Laura, I... I'm sorry, you've caught me at a bad time. I I'm really upset. W what happened? What happened? Everything's gone! Well, not your desk lamp or your... I... D I don't know what that is. What's missing? Everything's gone! My academic prizes, my awards, everything! Wait a second, are you saying you've been robbed? Of course I've been robbed! Look at this photo! See all my awards? Hmm, is there anything else missing? I'm not sure. Hmm, let's compare your room with this photograph that was taken before you were robbed. And hope that, like, you know, you're not leaving underwear around now that you... Because I so don't want to click on your underwear. So yeah, there's definitely awards and books and stuff missing. Curious. 
very curious. All right, so there's one thing missing. But those books are different. Yeah. Very interesting. The only things that are missing are your awards and books and magazines. And there's a lot more than just the, the awards. Maybe we should call the police. Are you crazy? That would disgrace the university. True. This is really an awkward situation. I think I know who's responsible for this. Really? Who would want all of your awards? Did you get in a fight with someone? No, his eye is usually like that, Laura. That's normal for humans. It's McMalice? He's the only person I know who would play such a mean trick on me. He is an excellent athlete, but he thinks based on that alone that he should qualify for title of best student. Everybody knows that's me. Okay, so you're saying this is just some sort of prank? Well, and I just need another minute of your time and I'll leave you alone. Please look at this photo. Do you know anything about the artifact Professor Adams is holding? It's an artifact from the library. I made an amulet out of it and hung it on a string. You touched it? And nothing happened? What are you talking about? It's just an amulet. Uh, of course. Uh, sorry to get so worked up about it. D do you mind if I look at it? I kept it... I kept it was in one of my trophies and now it's gone. Wow. Really? And you think McManus stole the trophy? Why was it a U instead of an N? Where can I find him? He lives in Carnegie Dormitory. What are you planning on doing to him? Nothing. I just need to talk to him. Bye. All right, so now we need to talk to McManus and get the trophy back so that we can get the amulet. But that's going to have to wait until next week because we're all out of time for this episode. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. And don't forget to press the subscribe button down below so that you can stay tuned for more from Olav Productions. Cheerio! Be able to take the battery out, but... Wait, what if we... What what if we get a ghost to zap the battery? Would that work? You need more firepower. Man, they're gonna be pissed at me. They're gonna be mad at me. Like, infuriated, even.